Hello and welcome back to the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel where we show you the latest and greatest from everything Aqua Open Source. My name is Anis Ulis, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua. Now in this video, I'm going to show you an end-to-end -end workflow on how you would use Trivi to scan your container images for vulnerabilities, then use Cosine to create an attestation that the image has been scanned for vulnerabilities, and lastly, we are going to use Kiverno to verify that any image that gets deployed to your Kubernetes cluster has been checked for vulnerabilities. Let's get started. First of all, you want to make sure that you have Trivia installed. It's a very straightforward installation. Then you have Cosine installed. And then you have Kiverno installed. Now, Kiverno is really not that necessary. You can use Kiverno to do test uh, commands, meaning that you check your Kubernetes manifest for policies, that it meets your policies without actually running Kiverno inside of your Kubernetes cluster. You can also apply policies through Kiverno. It basically integrates with your kubectl uh, command line. And then you want to make sure, lastly, that you have a Kubernetes cluster. So now we want to scan my container image for vulnerabilities. I will do that with the following command, trivi image ignore unfixed format JSON output, scan.json in my container image. Make sure you just replace your container image with any container image that you have access to on your container registry. Now let's walk through the different flags. I defined ignore unfixed, meaning I only see the vulnerabilities that have a fix available. Then I want to have the output in JSON format and then I want to save it in a scan.json file. I'm going to run this command. It's going to just update my database since I haven't used Trivi in the past six hours. And then we should get the output. Here we go. Now, there's one vulnerability that doesn't have details available. However, it works. Next, we want to have a look at the scan.json output. So we're just going to take a look at that. It's just JSON format, you can go through it if you're curious. Now, once you have that, we can create an attestation that we've actually scanned that container image for vulnerabilities because right now we only have it on our local machine, right? Nobody knows I can't prove to you that I have scanned it or you can't check without asking me that whether I have scanned it or not, right? Now, if you're completely new to attestations, make sure you check out this video I made on the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel that walks you through what are attestations, how to create them. You can create them for multiple different things, whether or not you created a container image, whether or not you created an SBOM for the container image, and much, much more. Check that out. So we do that with Cosine. And Cosine, for that, you will need to have a public private key pair available or use their keyless signing method. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the public-private key pair. So I'm just going to specify the key. So it's cosine.key, that's where I have it. And then I'm just going to provide a predicate, which is the scan.json file that I have right here. And it's of type vulnerability. So you have to specify the type here for cosine. There are also different types that you can specify. You can look it up in the cosine documentation. And then I specify again the container image. So my attestation is actually also provided to my container image. So I'm just going to run the scan. It's going to ask me for the password that I specified when setting up the key pair. Now I don't know. <laughs> what that output means. They've just included it in the most latest update of Cosine. But now there's basically an attestation added to my container image that has been scanned for vulnerabilities. Now we need to have a policy that checks that whenever we want to deploy a container image, it has actually been scanned for vulnerabilities inside of our cluster. So I already have Kiverno running inside of my cluster because I just use it for an other demo. And as you can see, it's just a one part deployment. If you want to have high availability deployed, I would suggest you to have multiple parts running and to scale up the replica for Kiverno. Um, but check out my video on my own channel if you're curious on an overview of Kiverno. Now we have that running, now we just need a policy. For that, I have defined this policy over here. So. The Kiverno policy basically says that it's cluster wide, meaning it's not namespace specific as opposed to just having policy. Then the webhook timeout is 10 seconds. It should be enforced, not just 
reported, like recorded in, in the report. <laughs> the failure policy is fail, meaning if the policy doesn't pass, then the deployment should fail. Then basically the attestation should not be older than a week and it's for any pod resource. Then for my container registry. And then lastly, here is the public key that should match that attestation. So the attestation has been created with my private key and here's the public key that should match that. And here is basically just the attestation, um, just to verify in addition to that as well, that it should not be older than a week, the attestation. Now this is the policy that I've defined and I can apply it like any other Kubernetes resource node to my Kubernetes cluster. And we're just gonna go ahead and gonna apply it. Now the policy has been created and I can verify that the policy actually works by having a deployment. Basically the deployment, this deployment has the 0 .0 0 0.0.4 image. It does not have the attestation added to it. And this deployment, 0 0.0.6, has the attestation added to it. So the, this deployment should pass and the deployment too should fail. So I can say kubectl apply file deployment to, and this one should fail. Namespace I've not found. Okay, let's just create the namespace. kubectl create namespace app. Let's see, does it fail? Here we go, it fails. Now it could be a bit more descriptive with the why it failed. And then we can go ahead and we can say kubectl apply and then the deployment. And this one should pass, right? Now this deployment has been created since it fulfills our policy that we've defined with Kiverno. Now opening up our Kubernetes cluster, I can also view the policies. Policies, um, cluster policies. Here. So I have my check for vulnerabilities and check container image. Now, <laughs> in this case, I use the check uh, vulnerabilities, meaning that it has been, my container image has been scanned for vulnerabilities. Like always, I really hope this video was useful and the documentation, including the tutorial with all of the commands and all of the manifests are linked below in the description. Do check that out. If you really like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and a yay. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming videos. It would mean a lot to us as well if you give Trivi a star on GitHub. If you really like Cosine or Kibiano, give them also a star on GitHub. Those are open source projects. I hope you have an amazing day and to see you next time. Bye bye.